Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hazy. I'm a mom of a three year old toddler named Alina and a three week old baby named Elijah. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me and show you what my day looks like with my three week old baby. Every morning at around 7am I wake up feeling groggy and exhausted because I've been up every 3-4 to four hours through the night to feed my baby. So just with the feeding number 1 I breastfeed Elijah while lying on my side so I can get more rest. We thought we were really cautious but unfortunately Elijah caught a cold from his 3 year old sister. He's been so congested and this nasal aspirator helped a lot to remove his mucus with little to no problems although he absolutely hates this process. After feeding and diaper change, I open the windows to bring the sunlight into the room and let fresh air in. I make sure I do this every day because it really lightens my mood and brightens my day. These are the bottles I used overnight. I just started mix feeding a couple of days ago because Elijah was not gaining enough weight and I realized mix feeding is more work and now I have all these bottles to sterilize every morning. And the next thing I do is unloading the dishwasher. It's my least favorite thing to do in the morning but this chore has to be done every day whether I like to or not so I just do it first thing in the morning and it's done the rest of the day. That way I don't have to dread it anymore. While I'm getting some of the chores done in the kitchen, Elijah is sleeping in the bedroom and I usually turn on some classical music and my favorite is the Mozart. It became my morning ritual ever since I was pregnant with my first child Alina because someone once told me it helps baby's brain development. There's no scientific evidence but I still love to listen to them in the morning. Elijah is usually awake for about an hour after the first feed, so I thought it's a perfect time to introduce him the Montessori Munari Mobile for the first time. Munari Mobile is the first mobile out of the four essential Montessori mobiles. Unlike the traditional mobiles that are colorful and makes lots of noise, Montessori mobiles are designed carefully to offer just the right amount of stimuli so that the sense of sight is challenged but not overwhelmed. They help a baby learn how to track moving objects and they are also able to improve their focus and concentration. I DIY'd it a few days ago with the things that I had at home so I know it doesn't really look 100% right but that's okay. If you want to make a proper one you can check out Hapa Family channel. There are videos on how to DIY Montessori mobiles at home with free templates. I'll be sure to link them down below for you to check out. Oh, oh, oh. 
Straight after the third feed at around 2 o'clock, Elijah takes his third nap and that's when I try to sleep as well. This nap is really necessary because Alina comes home from daycare at around 5 o'clock and I have to physically and emotionally prepare myself for the second stretch of the day. Since we have a newborn baby, our laundry pile is off the charts. I do one or two loads every day and I try to put it away when Eliza is asleep so I find myself being smothered by the laundry piles every evening. <laughs> Alina goes to bed at around 7, 7.30ish every day and falls asleep all by herself which makes our evening so much easier. I'll do an updated version of 3 year old bedtime routine in the next video so stay tuned if you're interested. The next thing we're going to do is bathing Elijah. We got a bathtub filled up with some warm water on the kitchen sink. We also have a bowl of warm water and a towel. Before we undress him, we wash his face and hair first because newborn is so tiny and slippery, it's easier to hold them while they are wrapped up. Washing with soap is not necessary for newborns, but if you want to, like us, you want to make sure it's a super gentle and tear-free. The best way to hold your baby in the bathtub is to keep one hand around your baby's shoulder and hook your fingers on the baby's armpit to have a good grasp. It's 20 past 8, Elijah had a bath, fed, clean diaper and ready to sleep but he's a little bit unsettled and this bassinet called Snoo is going to rock him to sleep. I've strapped him in into this Snoo sack and I just started Snoo and I usually just walk away. So I'm on my phone and pulled up this Snoo app and it's currently on level 1 and what it does is it automatically responds to your baby's fussing and soothes the baby with increasing motion and white noise. I can increase the motion with the app and usually Snoo does it automatically anyway but sometimes it doesn't do it quick enough so I sometimes just manually increase it all the way up to level 4 and it usually settles him down within a minute. It seems to be a bit too vigorous to me but it really does work. Elijah is settled for the night so I took a shower and ready for bed. It's only 9.30 but I better sleep now because I need to be up several times through the night every 3-4 to four hours to feed him. I put a new outfit on him as he sped up a little and then I put him into his snoo sack again.
As you can see, I feed him, burp him and change diapers on my bed. I do not want to leave my bed 3-4 times at night, so I keep everything I need like diapers, wipes, extra onesie, a dummy and whatnot right next to me. Elijah slept for about 3 hours which is pretty good for a 3 week old baby so I'm super happy about it but waking up at this time is the hardest for me so I decided to breastfeed him lying on the side, I just could not get myself out of bed. My husband is getting Alina ready for daycare and he's going to drop her off. I was trying to burp Elijah and I fell asleep again. I took a shower feeling fresh and I don't know what I was thinking but I decided to cut my hair in the bathroom and I kind of like it. Anyways, I survived another night with a newborn. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.